Hi guys, welcome back. Uh, I know it's been a couple of weeks probably since the last video has gone up. Um, but this time today we're going to be talking about this board here, which is the AL27, uh, which is a seat point motor expansion board. Now what this will do, just briefly, it enables you to control four isolated circuits based on the position of the seat point motor. So what we've got going on here is a little circuit board diet, a little uh, control panel board with two LEDs and it's telling us that it's in the spur off position which it is. Also the Traintronics uh, two aspect signal with a right hand feather. Feathers illuminated showing us it's going off and also because we've used an electrofrog point um, we've got a white LED and a blue LED here to indicate the polarity of the track um, it's currently the blue LEDs lit up here showing us that this is powered up by the blue track which is the turning off track um, so the normal rules apply we've got a CDU here um, the toggle switch here this one here is the solderless uh, switch which can be found on our website um, it just saves soldering in tight areas and it's easy you just screw up the terminals and everything's fixed in uh, it goes to the seat point motor underneath and from that it goes the outputs go from that to the board so I'll explain a bit more with the drawing but just a quick demonstration so as we can see it's currently all powered up the green lights on the feathers on and the blue lights on so if we change that to red so the circuits done its job it's illuminated the red LED meaning the points set in a straight position the feathers turned off and the lights actually turn to white which will be this track supply here so as it is it's going straight on so if we just do that a few more times to sh just to show you so green everything's now illuminated so you've got the blue which is the blue power off to there the feathers illuminated and the green lights on here so as you can see everything's done by this board here um, and if I use this picture here might be easier to explain there we go just get it to zoom in so we've got the normal point motor power to a CDU from that it goes to the solderless switch to the seat point motor solder tab A, C and B so obviously B and A are the uh, coil negatives or the coil positives and C's are common so then the more interesting side is this is the actual board itself it requires a 12 volt in because what happens is it sends 12 volts out to the point to the F terminal um, it's a bit like a single pole double throw switch so depending on what way it's switched you'll either get a return 12 volts from the solder tab F or to E which then come into here which will give us the A and B this is quite important so if it's switched in the A position it means the power will go up here and then it will go down from F to E this is all automatic down to A so if that's a bit confusing all it does is it just determines the direction of the point and gives it an A or a B output so obviously when we come onto here this is for the electrofrog point centre of the point comes in and goes to the main and then you've got your two A and B outputs depending on which track you've got the, you can illuminate a feather, so we've got a 12 volt supply here comes down to the positive of the feather, feather negative comes into the main and then A, if it's in the A position which is coming off it will illuminate, if not it won't illuminate and same with the controls, so we've got a 12 volt supply here goes to the positive of both LEDs, there may be a need for a resistor in there just a current limiting so then you've got your A and your B and your negative. So your negative comes down into the main or common. And depending on the A and B position, you connect the LEDs up to A or B. So I hope I've explained that. There's just another picture here which just shows it. So you've got a common and you've got A. It can either be switched to A or B. And they're four isolated circuits. There is also... We're working with the AL27 here, but there is an AL26 um, which only has 
two outputs, but two might be enough for your project. Obviously we've got four here, one for your electrofog point, one for your feather, and one for your control panel. So, yep, yet again, we'll show this working again. So, at the end of the day, these three outputs are all fully isolated. There's only need for one switch in the one position of the point. Everything else, like we, saw, like we showed, is controlled by the board. So it's simple, easy to use. In total, there's about 17 wires. That's if you use all the functions. But you've got your points, point in, which is three. You need a 12 volt power supply. And then there's your four, call them packs, for the outputs. So hopefully that's made it a bit easier to understand how it works. These are great use on obviously under the baseboard because it saves wiring and switches and automation. It's all just controlled on this board here, so it's nice and easy. Um, but yeah, like I said, these are on our website along with the CDU, which is an Illuminating Models product, and the solderless point motor switch. They're all on our website. Um, I'll put a link in the description below. But yeah, if you like, subscribe, share, be perfect. Thank you very much.